everybody and welcome back to my channel. I still have my hat, my scarf, and my coat on. I just got back from the grocery store to grab some snacks for Aria, some stuff for dinner for tonight, and just some other little things that I needed. So I figured I would film a quick little video just to show you guys what I keep in Aria's easy access snack drawer in our refrigerator. It's just a quick little easy pull out drawer in our fridge. And I'm gonna show you how I organize it and what I keep in there. And hopefully you like some of these ideas and you can use them for your toddlers. All right, so I'm not gonna show you guys my entire fridge right now because I'm going to do a whole entire refrigerator organization video when I have the chance. So this is just the bottom drawer in our refrigerator. It's just a long wide drawer that opens right on up. So it's just easy access. It's the perfect height for her as well. So the first thing that I keep in there is some fruit. So these don't have to be kept in the refrigerator at all, but I do like to keep these in the fridge just because it'll remind me that I have some fruit like this. And then I always usually tend to stick to buying the jars that just have like that really easy pull top. So this is like my first go-to if she asks for something just like simple that I can open and pour into a bowl. So this is just sliced pears and these are pears that are kept in water and they have no sugar added versus the ones that say like they're in heavy syrup. I try to stay away from those ones. So next really easy, simple snack is like I said, Aria loves, loves yogurt. And these are just the cute little Danimal strawberry smoothie drink ones, but she actually prefers these type of yogurts over here, which these are like little squeeze pouches. So these are my number one go-to. Highly recommend this brand is the Stonyfield Organic whole milk squeeze pouch yogurts. So this one is strawberry and beet berry. I love that they are organic. I love that they're just like the perfect amount for a little snack to hold her over when I don't want her to get full before dinner or full before lunch, but I love the squeeze pouches. These are also the Danimals brand and these are strawberry banana. So these ones are not organic, but they are the low fat yogurt still and they have vitamin D added to them. I went ahead and turned my door alarm off because I didn't even know you could do that. So I apologize about the beeping. But anyways, the next thing in here are some strawberries. So strawberries are in season right now. That's why they're like a little bit darker, but she loves strawberries. So I'll just rinse these and then I put them in the fridge. So that way when she wants one, I can just grab them out. Sometimes she will just ask for one strawberry. So this way they're already rinsed and cleaned and just sitting in here. So I can just open up this top and hand her one. Otherwise, if she wants a bowl of strawberries, I will take a handful out, cut the tops off slice them up in a little bowl for her the next thing in this drawer we have some applesauce so this is more of a sit down snack obviously she has to sit down and eat these with a spoon but it's still very easy for me to you know just open the top hand or a spoon and it's just a quick little snack and this is the applesauce the cinnamon flavored by Mott's brand. I love Mott's brand applesauce. I just think that it tastes the best. She loves these and we're almost out of them. Chobani Flips. So this is a salted caramel crunch and it just comes with low fat Greek yogurt, pretzels, milk, chocolate chips, and some toffee pieces. But these are really, really great and she loves this flavor specifically. And she also really likes the Oreo one as well. So the next thing in here is hummus. So I keep hummus in here just because it's a great little snack. This is a brand new container. I just get the plain roasted garlic hummus and I just get it right at Walmart. It's non-GMO. So. And then I'll give her some whole grain crackers to dip in the hummus or sometimes I will have carrots in here. Today I don't have any carrots obviously. So if she was to eat hummus today, I would stick to the crackers. Okay, so moving on to, I just keep her Kool-Aid jammers in here, but I try not to give her these more than like once a day or once every other day. For the most part, she's really, really good about drinking water. And then if she ever does want some juice and I don't want to give her another one of like the Kool-Aid jammers, what I'll do is I'll fill up her sippy cup with water and I will put these meal vitamins in there or just regular meal as well, the ones that have no sugar in them. This one is the orange vanilla flavor and it has B3, B6, and B12 right in it. And she thinks that she's drinking juice because of the flavoring in there. So I love, love, love these little meal drinks as well. 
The next thing in here is just little fruit snacks. These are just little Kellogg fruit snacks. I had the organic little gummies in my cart, but she came with me grocery shopping this time. So if she comes with me, usually we end up having to pick, you know, the fun character stuff like this. So that's why we picked out these little Spider-Man gummies. So another great snack that I keep in here, like I said, most people keep these in their pantries. I just throw these little pouches in here because they're just easy access to grab are just these little baked goldfish cheddar crackers. They also have whole grain ones of these that I usually pick up as well. We just finished those and then I had the regular cheddar ones and I threw them in here and now we're already on one package. Oh, another snack that is really, really great in here is these little sliced almonds. Some moms give their kids whole almonds, which is totally fine if you trust your little one to eat those, but I just feel better about her eating these little sliced ones. So they say that they're perfect for baking or snacking, and these are just a great value brand, but I actually love these a lot. They actually taste delicious, and she loves them as well, so these are just super nice. I can throw these right on her plate with like her scrambled eggs in the morning, and she'll eat a bunch of them. She will just eat like a little handful of them, and sometimes when she's asking for goldfish, I'll say, let's do almonds instead, and she will eat the almonds instead usually. So one of the last items that I keep in here is some pre-sliced cheese, which I know that you can get cheese cheaper when it's not pre-sliced like this, but this is just a great value brand anyway, so it's still budget friendly and affordable. And this is Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. And she really, really likes these. So same thing, I will give her like maybe five slices of this with some crackers or so cheese is just another great little snack that is like filling for her and I'm okay with her eating that. So this is her snack drawer right now. Okay, so when I was talking about the hummus and when I was talking about the cheese, I mentioned like the multi-grain whole grain crackers that I give her. So these are the ones that she's been eating lately and these are just great value brand as well. Another easy grab snack for toddlers is obviously bananas. So I always, always have bananas on hand at all times. So when I have a little bit more time in my hands when she's asking for a snack or if I already have like a pan heated up or some shredded cheese out, I will warm up one of these gluten-free tortillas and I will sprinkle some cheese on there and I will either roll it up and do like a little cheese roll up for her or say we have some chicken left over from dinner the night before, I'll shred up some chicken with the cheese on there and make her like a little mini quesadilla because they are gluten-free tortillas and they are high in fiber, they have no artificial colors, they are vegan friendly. So these are just a really great, great snack. You can also even heat these up in the microwave as well. So I just wanted to show you some extra little items that I already had out on my counter. That was just a quick little video. Usually we have some other items in there. Sometimes I'll get like pickles, pepperoni. Sometimes we'll do like some lunch meat. I think that I'm going to do an entire refrigeration organization type of video from like everything in our fridge that's not just her stuff as well pretty soon. So hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for that. And other than that, thank you for watching.